And greetings, everyone. I am Resplendent Seraph, and tonight, in this wonderfully beautiful South Florida afternoon slash evening, we're going to be playing East 5, and hopefully we're going to be finishing it today. That's the objective. And so I hope everybody had a great weekend. I hope everybody's week is off to a great start. Before we, uh, hello, cat, and oh my god, cat, really, really, cat, she was like, I was trying to play with her for everything else for like the last hour or two before getting to the stream. And as I begin talking here, hi, honey, I love you. Y yes. Okay. Yeah. Now she decides to be awake. Oh my goodness. This cat, she is amazing, but my God, but at least I got her to stop playing with my wires. I finally figured out it was the actual wire ties that she was really fascinated with. So I removed it, let her play with it for a few minutes. Then she got bored with it because now she was allowed to play with it. So now she doesn't want it because of course, of course she doesn't want it. I'm, she's a cat. Critics. Yes. So now that Cleo has already gotten me sidetracked before I even get started, let's do a quick recap of what happened the last time on East 5. So when we first arrive in Xandria looking for adventure and essentially Adol comes to this little port town. Because a bunch of adventurous people are looking for the lost city of Kefin in the desert. And so far, that I kind of like the, the plot of like, yeah, people are just curious about it. But, you know, over the last couple of years, more and more monsters are starting to come out. And so that's, you know, odd. We find out that that kind of coincided with Stein's uh, foray into, uh, into some of the uh, into this one cave where he discovered the Lumen Crystal. And so that kind of unlocks this. This opens up, rather, the plot of the game where we meet this mayor of Xandria, Dorman, and he bankrolls us to essentially find all of the crystals because he wants to help the people of the town and finding the crystals should have should open up the um, the mystery and the solution to deal with all these monsters. Well, of course, we find out he's a lying prick and he just wants the crystals for himself to access the Phantom City uh, for himself. And so we get a bunch of these crystals. We don't necessarily get all the crystals, but we get a bunch of them. And Nienna, who is a character that we rescue fairly early on, she gets captured again by Dorman. And when we go back to Xandria, and mind you, we kind of tore around the whole area looking for all these various crystals. And this game, by the way, was never released here in North America. That's kind of important. This is a fan translation, and so far, the fan translation is really good. This is one of the better fan translations of games that never came to North America that I've come across. Uh, whoever translated this, I should probably find out who they are and give them better some pretty good kudos, because this fan translation is is really, really good quality. This is a good localization. Other than like an like a minor error, like I think I've only caught like two minor errors, uh, and that's probably only because I was an English major, and I'm just like, that's not right. Um, but even still, those are very easy to miss. And so, uh, yeah, there, that's, that's kind of where we are. So we get the crystals. We even have to get one, the last crystal from the actual, um, ruins from Kefin as we go into the desert. That was interesting in and of itself. We had to get like a special cloak. We also had to get, uh, an item that allowed us to see the path through the sandstorms. We've a couple, we've uh, a couple, so we gather elements also. And when we talk to alchemists, they can fuse flux stone and essentially allows us to cast magic. We've got, we've, we've found a few more of those. So I think we've got like four or five spells essentially, but so far I'm, I'm underwhelmed with the magic system in this game. I, I don't think that was play tested uh, very, very extensively. At least that's not the sense that I get, but who knows? I could also be doing something wrong on that. Who knows? That's certainly possible. But so far, I, I, I'm I'm not super impressed with it thus far. Hello, cat. I love you, cat. Who is a good cat? Regardless, we go back to Xandria, which has been taken over by uh, essentially Dorman's men. And turns out Rize, who was the captain of the garden, who we had a good first impression with. Shocker. She's in cahoots with Dorman for some reason. Well, once Dorman turns into this like alchemical monster and we defeat him. Rize shows her true colors at that point, captures Nana for herself, reveals that she is actually Kefin royalty, opens the gate to the Phantom City and disappears through it. Well, the Iber gang wants revenge. We want to rescue Nana. 
And so we sort of team up in this unlikely alliance. We go back to the Phantom City where the alchemist Messea and this other uh, seal type thing, it's close enough and we're able to open another portal and it looks like this has been a one-way portal. So Ibergang and us go through that and we find ourselves actually in Kefin. And it looks like Kefin's just been in this like parallel dimension all of this time. And we uh, we look around a little bit, but as soon as I found the actual town of Kefin, I just kind of saved. And now we're going to do the rest of it because I didn't know how much longer we had. We could only have like an hour left. We could have hours left. I have no idea if this is going to be this like massive spanning mega dungeon or if this is just the last area of the game. But that essentially gets everybody like in case you just hop into this, that gets you kind of caught up to what we're doing and why we're here. And so we're trying to rescue Nienna. And it also occurs to me that Terra, the one member of the Iber gang, let's get started now in game. Hey, Crosshair, how are you, my friend? How is your week doing? Good to see you. I just finished the recap. Uh, so if uh, if you missed it. Yes, get over. <laughs> why thank you dark star i appreciate it yeah let's get this party started here fire this up make sure our game geometry looks good and we're gonna get to the end of the game hi kitty hi leo what i literally just started i love you you have food i made sure you have food i checked before i came down here <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you, Dark Star. <laughs> uh, do that. Uh, that should be good. Perfect. Let's fire this up. There we go. Marvelous. I don't see any good. No annoying cursor. There we go. So far, so good. My day's going good. It was a... I just had to set my button there. Hi, Kaleo. What you doing, cat? I love you, cat. What you doing? What kind of chaos are you, are you, are you causing? Yeah, you didn't drink my water that I literally just brought up here? Super awesome. Thanks. Thanks, cat. I love you. I, oh my god. No, 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 no. You can't go back there. Oh my god. <laughs> No, 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 don't go in there. Okay. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Cat! <laughs> no, you can't be there, honey. Hey, you're a little stuck. That's okay. That's okay. Come here. Come here. I know you're too big for that spot. Yeah, now you can. Okay. All right, don't freak out. I got you. I got you. I know. I know you're too big to turn around. Let me, let me move the keyboard for a minute. There you go. Now you can turn around. Hi. No, that wasn't an invitation to stay there. I'm helping you move. Okay, let's... <laughs> you got yourself stuck. Over here. Hi. My chaos gremlin. Uh, <laughs> folks, sorry. Hey, that's, that's your water. I know, it's your water. It was always your water. No, you can't be over here. You're too... You get into trouble. No, 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 no. I love you. Why do you want to go over there? You don't really want to go over there. You don't really want to go over there. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, I know we just started. I am so sorry. Let me, um, why don't you sit down? Why don't you sit down? No, give me my headphones now. Okay, give me my headphones. <laughs> I can't believe this. No, Cleo, you can't be behind. You cannot be behind that monitor. It's too, it's too small a space for you, sweetheart. You're too chonky for it. I know. I love you too. I love you too. Hi. What are we doing? Are you looking for a pet? I will. I will happily pet you while you hang out. Here. Why don't you hang out? With me? Yes. You good girl? Okay. Yeah. Okay. What are we doing? Okay. You f okay. You found yourself a toy. Sure. Play. Play with the toy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I've been playing Wolfenstein on PS3. Nice! That was a good one. That was a really good one. There you go, Cleo. Hi, honey. Okay. You can even see the she screen shaking while she while she plays. <laughs> yeah, you found yourself a toy. Oh! Oh, you knocked it over. 
You want me to give it back to you or you want to go hunt down? Okay, she's going to go hunt it down. My cat, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> okay, well, she's happy. Okay, we already re recorded. We already saved our game. Okay, let's let's get out of here and let's actually talk to people and figure out what's going on. But yeah, I loved uh, the Wolfenstein that came out in that era. I think I played the PSV version or the PC version rather than the PS3 version. But that was a great reintroduction to the series. Looks like Lady Rize has returned. I wonder where she's been all this time. She's so beautiful. I'd love to talk to her just once. I'd never try it, though. I'd be too scared of those other three with her. Okay, so the other three that she's probably talking about, they were with her when she went through the gate. And yes, they were scary, scary looking motherfuckers. Where's my cat? Oh, you're over there. You're having fun. Okay. <laughs> I'll just work around the cat. <laughs> we have an empty room here. Ay, ay, ay. She is my character. We already picked up one suit of armor as well, but we also encountered a couple of gears that require... Ooh, that's a treasure chest. Ooh, we found a light element. Sweet. So with any luck, we're at the end of the game here. My guess is, though, we've got a pretty large area to uh, explore and deal with. Oh, I see why you were going over. Good girl. Yep. Rub rub up against that. Sure. That you can rub up against. <laughs> that is not a problem. Let's see. Okay, we talked to you. Can I go up this way? What's this way? F in font judgment? What the fuck? The judgment of fate. It's starting. Oh, shit. Uh, the judgment of fate. Okay, you're all start. You're all gonna say the same thing. What the fuck are all these people doing? Okay, that looks uh, creepy. Um, I should probably follow them and see what the fuck this is. About. Okay, wait a moment. It's dangerous to go in there right now. When the bell rings, it sends people into a trance. And they all go to the Judgment Hall. Okay, what does that mean? I should introduce myself. I'm... Jean or... J or Jean? I'm gonna call this person Jean. Uh, part of an organization known as the Partisans. I really enjoyed it, Wolfenstein. Yeah, Wolfenstein is awesome. <laughs> uh, that was the best game since the original 3D version that came out in like 1992. I was trained by my leader to resist the trance, so I'm still okay. We partisans have gathered here in order to determine the true meaning of the ritual. Are you familiar with the Judgment of Fate ritual of which I speak? Oh, we're getting exposition here. Okay, more plot! Let's find out what the hell's actually going on here. In the Hall of Judgment, there is some kind of lamp? Um... Okay, and it's like some steampunk shit going on here. That's where each person's fate is decided. Yeah, that doesn't look good. <laughs> what fate awaits those who are chosen? Figures now the text is going to be super slow. No one knows. Sometimes the text goes by in a blur, and sometimes it's like this where it's just a crawl. Many people have already been taken. All of this seemed to start when the alchemist Jabir first showed up. I know that you came here from the physical realm. Our leader told me that much. Would you like to meet him? He says we desperately need you to help us. I'm sure you have your own reasons for coming here. Come on, I'll show you the way to our base. And... Sure, I, I guess. Why not? Where's our leader? That's such a great sound clip. I'm so glad you sent me that. <laughs> it has so many very fitting applications. And of course, we all have the almost like inside joke of where it came from. 
Although I think everybody that knows that that's a you know in the channel knows the joke. But if you don't, feel free to ask. We'll, we'll fill you in. <laughs> Where's our leader? Please go and see Professor Orwell. He had something important to tell you. I see. It's finally time. Pardon me. Professor Orwell is making preparations for a major plan. Uh, how rude of me. I never did ask your name. Adol gave his name and explained that he was searching for Nienna. Eh? Nienna? Someone was being taken to the South Tower. I'd wager that was your Nienna. Aha! This is the same Nienna. <laughs> That's another really good one. I love that one. Good old anime wow. So much better than me just going, wow! <laughs> when, when it, you know, the situation called for it. Uh, took to the, uh, the Professor Orwell took to the physical realm. Ah, okay, so Nienna is, okay, so, okay, so that makes sense. Nienna is from Kefin. Has she come back? Indeed, Rize and her companions abducted her when they stole the crystals. I don't think they realize that she's actually from Kefin, though. If she's in the South Tower, they'll be taking her to the Hall of Judgment soon. Okay, so we gotta stop her from getting dragged to the Hall of Judgment. If we don't help her soon, we lose any chance we have of helping her at all. But our leader still hasn't come back yet. But who else can save her? We can't just leave. What should we do? Well, let's tell Professor Orwell about Nienna first. All right. It's not like I'm a hero that can save her or anything. Come on. Nienna, the girl you came to help, is a native of this city. She went to the physical realm before, on an errand for Professor Orwell. No one heard from her after that, so people started to get worried. But now she's back, and I can't believe that we're somehow just stuck and we can't help her. So did she really have amnesia, or did she just go with that story so that nobody really asked her too many questions about where she was from, because she obviously can't say she's from Kefin. The South Tower is guarded by soldiers. There's no way we can get in there ourselves. What's that? Is that a map? Please tell me it's a map. Nope, that's not a map. Yes! Excellent. Now then. Oh, okay. That's actually kind of badass. This is a slightly more useful map than the overworld map. That overworld map of the General Zandria area was super useless. At least this gives me somewhat of an idea of where I'm at. All right. So you, Karen. So I read right by now. Well, something must be done, and it sounds like I'm gonna have to go to the South Tower. You're not planning to go to the South Tower alone, are you? Yes, I am, Gene. Please be careful, Adol. I fear this may be a trap laid to lure you and the others closer. Yeah, probably is, but your leader's not here and someone's got to do something. So, looks like I'm going. Alright, so the rebellion... It looks like some sort of rebellion group is below the bar. Okay, cool. Welcome, there's some girl in the South Tower, I hear. Yep. We're gonna go rescue her. Lots of people come in and out of this place, but where are all the customers? Weird. Yeah, they probably got dragged off. I think it's the only thing left to do around here. Alright, so let's explore. And before I go to the South Tower, I kind of want to explore a little bit more and see if I could find, uh, for lack of a better word, the Keffin Sword. I forget what they called the armor. We can just check real quick. This menu is so awkward. Ah, the Isios armor. I'm guessing there's going to be an Isios sword and an Isios shield. We're going to need to find those. Okay, that's a dead end. Hey, person. The city's changed a lot since that alchemist Jabir showed up. With King Kefin gone, the only remaining member of the royal family is Lady Rize. What is a kingdom without its king? Great. Okay, so what the hell is Rize up to? And of course, one of the reasons we're trying to stop this is it was pretty clear that uh, Rize's up to no good. And the restoration of Kefin, well, it already has buried one town under sand, and so one of the common worries is, oh goodness, what is the return of Kefin going to be as far as like a catastrophic effect on the other surrounding areas? Now something to think about why we might want to stop this from happening. Plus, that Rize lady did not have, uh, let's just say, a good aura <laughs> around her. 
This is the city of Kefin. You don't look like you're from around here. No, I am not from around here. Let's go see what we got in here. Now we'll go to the item shop. What do you got? First things first. I can offer this much. Yes, let's take money. We like money. Good, I can't carry any more of those. I can't carry any more of those. And we already have these. Okay, perfect. Let's head out. Let's see. Building? Ah, the alchemist. Okay, so if we wanted to make more flex stone, we can go here. I suspect this is going to be our base of operations for this later stage of the game. What is this? Oh, this leads us back in here. Underground cathedral. Okay, so this. We're in the underground in the southwest. Let's explore this a little bit. Oh, and I gained a level. That was nice. Now let's see what's up over here. Southwest area, switch room. And I'm over here. I think we actually were here already. Now we're going to need to get keys for these. I'm not sure where the keys are yet. Oh, look at that. Found a dark element. Those are cool. Glad I interacted with that. I can already tell we might get a little lost. I'm going to try my best not to get lost. Mostly, I'm just trying to get reacclimated to this, well, try and get acclimated to this area. And we also have the Iber gang that's running around, but we lo we got separated from them. What is this? Oops. Oh, I just, I went to where I was supposed to go, I think. That should do it. Now Master Baru can deal with that swordsman. But you know, it's hard to believe anyone would go to so much trouble just for one girl. I wonder if all people are like that in the physical world. Oh, well. Ah, good. Ibergang showed up. I think. Yep. You got it. There's lots of folks like us in the physical world, or whatever. Alright, we need to hustle. If we don't hurry, Adol's gonna get all the treasure. <laughs> These fucking guys. But at least they busted the guards keeping me trapped in here. So that's pretty awesome. Which means I can leave. Good. Sweet. Okay. You know what? I'm okay with these Iber gang guys at this point. I mean, yeah, they were scam artists. But they're com I'm starting to I'm starting to come around on them. Oh ho ho, heel ring. Fuck yes. That is awesome. Okay, so now if we get fucked up. Alright, so now if I go in here. Equipment, power ring, go to the heal ring. And sit still, I'm yep, and now we can heal. Sweet. That is awesome. Yeah, the heal ring is always one of my favorite rings. Okay, good. Switch back to the power ring. Let's go over here. This might actually be one of the last ring uh, games that has the rings in them, because I don't think the... Okay, that coat of arms is something I can interact with. Yes. Oh, you're shooting me with a fucking crossbow. You dick. <laughs> tell you right here. Uh, okay, I gotta remember to use that. Takes care of that. Perfect. Now we're getting there. You missed. Oh, there we go. The Isio shield. I would have rather had the Isio sword, but whatever. Ugh, I hate when I can't get it. Whatever. Fuck it. Wow, that's a pretty big upgrade. Still a little weak, but our power shield helps out. Okay. 
Okay, I got two options. Let's go down first, because usually up is the way we want to go. Almost always. This is just a platform out here. Is there anything we can get? Yep. I was right. <laughs> it always pays to just wander around and interact with stuff. Oh, shit. I thought I could get to this guy before he could do that shit. Oh, well. Fuck it. <laughs> okay, you are a marksman. I do notice that depending on the angle... Okay, that's an area we could fall down. Continue up. Oh, that's so cheap. Ah, uh, okay. And this would there's a switch on the wall. Flip it. Yep, that'll lead us down. I thought it was actually going to uh, lead me to the other area, and this is the other way we came up. So let's go back to that heal ring. Heal real quick. Well, I still figure out this area. We'll give it all a little bit of a breather here. All right, so, oh, uh, but also it had occurred to me over the last uh, couple of days in between playing this, Tara, the uh, one of the members of the Iber gang that we actually um, helped out with. Um, so yeah, of, of all that, like, so that original gang where there was that girl that I thought was uh, a victim of those two brothers, but turned out to be her two brothers, uh, whose name obviously is Tara. And we uh, ended up going to heal, uh, rescue her when she fell down the the, um, the collapsing walkway when uh, Dorman and Rize did all that bullshit. And she was like, yeah, uh, you know, I'm not used to people not being complete and utter shitheads. Ah, fuck. My own fault there. It occurs to me she is a character that comes back later, and it didn't occur to me until just now, like, oh, right! And I don't know how I didn't recognize her, but now it's almost like, oh my goodness. I don't even think the name is the same. I don't think they changed the name. It's not like I can blame it on that. I just... just kind of a dingus. Okay, so we already trapped... Yeah... That mistake again. Ah, that's bastard. I'm just getting a little nicked here and there. Oh. Yeah, you do more damage when you come at them from the sides, but... There. That looks like a really interesting area. Definitely can't get to it. Nope, can't get to it now. What is going on here? Stairs? Am I just... Okay, yeah, I definitely can't get to there. Alright. Back up we go. I didn't miss anything. Thank you for the level up and the free health boost. I wish I could save here, but oh well. <clears throat> we'll see if we can figure this shit out. Alright, Baruch the leader. I've been waiting for you at all. Welcome to the Phantom City of Kefin. Ah, uh, time for bullshit. 
up. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so you finally found Nienna after such a long search. Such a pity, then, that you'll have to bid her farewell again so soon. Indeed, a final farewell. <laughs> this is as far as fate will lead you. <laughs> I love how the villain's talking shit. Meanwhile, the two Iber gang uh, brothers just slowly get Nienna away from him. <laughs> now to finish you off, tread lightly, fool. Otherwise, Nienna may just be lost to this world entirely. Uh, wait, where'd you go? <laughs> there's no treasure here, but there's no way we're going home empty-handed. So we'll just take Nienna with us instead. Who the hell do you think you are? <laughs> Looks like the name of the Iber gang hasn't spread quite as far as Keffin yet. Well, if his memory's anything like his body, there's not much to it, eh? Shit, you bastards. You'll pay for this. Once I've dealt with that all, you'll be next. Yeah, no, uh, I'm killing this, this dude. Hey, Adol, here's where you come in. Make sure we don't see this runt again. Now, I will do my best, Dios. <clears throat> well, that's fine. Well, let's begin, Adol. Can I block it with Matt? Can I block this shit? Nope. Right? Can I? Okay. So yeah, there's not much I can do there. Seriously? <laughs> was was that it? All right, I'll take that. No, no. How come some pitiful outlander have defeated me? But don't rest on your laurels just yet. Okay, second form. I'm not some mere servant. You and those Iber brats will meet your end soon enough. Wait and see. Oh, okay. No, that was it. All right, we'll take that. <clears throat> Is there another way down? Or is that level just indicating that the area is bigger than it looks? Nice job, dingus. I'd love to get over there. I just don't know how to do it. Get more or something? I don't know. Ah, I got the bolt off. <clears throat> Let's take the expressway out. Wait, was that another way out? No, it wasn't. Ah, are you hurt? I heard you had come this way by yourself. I'm glad you see you're all right. I'm guessing Chase is the leader here. Adol said that Nienna escaped with the Iber gang. In that case, let us help you search for them. I do have one more favor to ask of you. Would you please go and see Professor Orwell back in the Western area? He said it's crucial that he speak to you as soon as possible. All right, well, I guess I'm gonna do that. This looks like an area to the east. Let's see what this is. All right, well, is this another way down? Southeast. I think this is the area we were in before. Yeah, this is the area we were in before. These weird whiz robe type things. Okay. So this area leads up to here. I'm starting to get the I'm starting to get the lay of the land here. Well thank you, Chase who looks just like so many of the other Rebellion people. <laughs> I, I love the variation in character design there. It's funny. Shit. No. Close. Okay, so something about a western area. Southwest area. Okay, that's the switch room. So I need to find the western area. Probably gonna be this way. So I'm gonna go up. Oh, fuck's 
sakes. Thought I could kill it before. Now am I in the western area? Yep. Alright. Let's take a look. West area. Yeah, cool. Nice. Alright, Professor uh, Orwell. I'm sure has no reference to uh, George. <laughs> I'm guessing I do have to go through there. But annoying, I couldn't go through this. Ah, Sumire. What? You can't go through here. Really? I can't go through here? Okay. Well, I'm guessing once I talk to the professor, I can. Orwell's house. There we go. Uh, I've been waiting for you at all, wasn't it? I'm glad I ended the other stream when I was playing this, because I had a feeling that there was a lot like this going on. I've heard from the Pertisans that Niano has returned. At all told Orwell all that had occurred so far. Perfect, so now Orwell's caught up in speed. I bear some responsibility for Niana as well. Let us see if we can get the Partisans to help find her. Here you are, Adol. There we go, there's Messiah. Oh, Adol, I heard about Niana. It's terrible, but at least you're still safe. It's a pleasure to meet you, Professor Orwell. My name is Messiah. I've known, uh, I've known of you for quite some time. How has Messiah known of Professor Orwell for quite some time? I'm a successor to the art of alchemy. Okay. Uh, now it's starting to make a little more sense. The reason we're here is to hopefully avert the disaster which destroyed this city. It's thanks to Adol that I've even made it this far. The situation here seems more complicated than I'd expected. I'd hoped we could somehow disable the Philosopher's Stone, but... Wow. So, mind you, this is before Full Metal Alchemist. <laughs> but yeah, fi funny that we're dealing with Alchemy of Kefin and now a Philosopher's Stone. Actually, that is the precise reason I've called you here. I'm sure that you're aware that what the city's power is doing to the physical world. I have a plan to ensure that the disaster that befell Kefin does not repeat itself. In order for this plan to work, however, I will need both of you to help. By the way, Professor Orwell, where's the boss? He's currently mapping out our route to the central area of the castle. He has been gone for a long while, though. It shouldn't take this long. Shocker. I do hope he hasn't run into any trouble. I'm a little worried. I'm sorry to ask, Adol. Don't be, everybody else does. But could you please go try to find him? Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Adol. He should be sneaking into the castle facility right now. You can get there by taking the north exit from here and going underground. The castle guards seem to be spread pretty thinly for now. Still, don't get careless. Be on your guard. We're counting on you. Right, well, I will do that. Let's see what else you have used. You should be sneaking into the castle facility right now. You're just saying the same thing. Do you have anything else that's useful? Look at that. That's it for that. Well, I certainly have been collecting a lot of elements. Adol, wait just a moment. May I see that bracelet? Adol explained how he had come to obtain it. Now, mind you, the one weird dude with the emo haircut uh, gave us this bracelet who um, had been the lover of Forrest Up who ended up using magic in one of those areas you're not allowed to use magic in and got permanently encased in ice. I see. From so long ago. Well, I'm sorry for holding you up. Okay, well, he obviously recognizes the bracelet. <clears throat> Let's do this. Um, debating on whether or not to go back to Kefin to save? Or if I should just keep going here. Let's... You know, it'd be nice if one of them would save. You're going to search? Thank you. Alright, so now you're going to unlock it. So let's check. Will one of these clowns actually save the game for us? That would be nice. I don't want to be going too far without saving. If I can help it. Hey, Masaya, will you save the game? Ah, uh, okay. Be careful. Okay. So I'm guessing Kefin was like not only sucked into a different dimension, but also paused in time? 
with this? Like, I'm telling Professor Orwell about the future. Like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> See, I'm thinking something may have gotten missed somewhere. I'm guessing when, the, when we're talking about the Phantom City, not only did we go to a different dimension, but you also kind of went to the past. Is that reading that correctly? I might be reading that correctly. I hate these things. I haven't quite figured out how to be able to hit them. Oh, I probably should just use magic on that. Probably should just use magic on those assholes. As if time never moved at all. <laughs> right, Ghosty? How are you doing, my friend? Oh, I probably didn't want to do that. Oh, well, that works. That actually does work. Which way am I going? I'm going to start using that magic on these fuckers. Oh. Takes a while to cast. That's a problem. God. Okay, and it hits it twice. Doesn't usually suck up a lot of uh, mana. Okay, there's no other way to go. So that sucked. I do prefer not being hit at all. I'm okay with that. Yeah, there's no other way to go, right? I'm not blind about this. Nope. This is the only way. Perfect. So greetings, Ghosty. How is your week going so far, my friend? Oh. Yep. <laughs> Even though this is the past, there's all sorts of steampunk shit in here. So this, this is low-key kind of awesome. It's tightly sealed. Okay, so I can't go through there. Secret base lower Suspicious. There's literally no other way I can go. That's correct. Let's wander over this way. Okay, just sitting about. How's ya? I'm good. I'm good. Chaos at work, but a productive day. Oh shit, here we go. Avis, the leader. So you're the one who's been sneaking around and causing trouble. Very well. Now you're gonna have to contend with me. Prepare to die, you rared haired punk. Haha. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit! I had hoped to be done with this, but I guess I have no choice. You must be that red-haired swordsman from the physical world. <laughs> well, that's an introduction. Holy shit. This dude just bisected that dude. All right, here I thought I was going to have to rescue you, but uh, looks like you can handle yourself, buddy. I came here in much the same fashion. Oh, I'm Stein. All right, an adventurer of sorts. Now I work as the leader of the partisans. By the way, what's your name? Adol gave his name and passed on Orwell's message. I see. Thank you, Adol. I had hoped to take care of this sooner, but the higher-ups <laughs> made that tough. No point in staying here any longer, though. We should get back while the opportunity presents itself. Okay, that was fucking awesome. Okay, so Stein had a pretty cool intro. Stein, I had a feeling it was you. Masea, what in the world are you doing here? <laughs> Well, I'm afraid Nien is also here in Keffen. You mean the rumor about the abdu abductee from the physical world is true? Yes, and it's Nienna. We came here with a band of thieves that call themselves the Iber Gang. We have no idea where they are now, though. I see. Stein, you saved Nienna back in the physical realm, did you not? Much as it pains me, we must wait here for news from the partisans. I'm sorry, my friend. Would you explain for them precisely what's going on in the city? All right. Yes, I would love to know what the fuck's going on. I came here from the physical world to answer my questions about a particular ritual. Namely, what's the purpose of the judgment of fate, and where do the judged go? It's Soylent Green. <laughs> Eventually, I figured out how this... Wouldn't that be fucked up if that... If I was like... I'm just joking, but wouldn't that be fucked up if that's what it is? 
I figured out how this city's power works. The victims are sacrificed to the alchemical magic which sustains the city. The leader here is Rize, the last surviving member of the royal family. But this isn't all her doing. There's someone else pulling the strings. That would be Jabir, master alchemist and advisor to the late King Kefin. We made some progress in finding out how to put a halt to his operation. I believe that by destroying the Philosopher's Stone, the magic of the city will fail. I know no other way to save the physical world from destruction. Ah, so in East Book 2, we had to destroy the Black Pearl to save East. And now here in East 5, over, yep, <laughs> just like the Matrix. So I'm like, right, right, right? <laughs> now, mind you, this was four years before the Matrix came out. So technically, East 5 did it first. <laughs> um... So yeah, no, it's it's funny how uh, in East 5 now, we're going to be destroying a, another stone to save an entire kingdom. <laughs> Hint, it's not soy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, of course, if we do that, we condemn all those living here, not just Jabir. The 500 years that they have avoided will come rushing in like a fl Oh my god. Okay, so yeah, we were right. They're, they're, this place is stuck in time. Uh, the 500 years that have that they've avoided will come rushing in like a flood. In other words, everything within the city will become nothing but sand and dust. Yeah, they're going to age 500 years instantaneously. That's actually kind of awesome. However, you came from the physical world, so it won't work the same way. You'll simply shift back to your own time and be spared that fate. I humbly ask all of you for your help. Well, we could just evacuate the city of Kefin and then destroy the Philosopher's Stone. Am I taking crazy pills? Why are we not talking about that? At all, you may have a way of saving the citizens, unless they're going to talk about by using that bracelet? I still don't know exactly how it should be used, but I think it is possible. I'd like you to find out when the next Judgment of Fate is scheduled. That will be the last chance to execute our plan. I have a favor to ask, at all. I've been looking for a way to reach the Philosopher's Stone. I found one, but now it's been closed off. So I want you to use the way I found the control room. It goes past the Hall of Judgment, all the way to the center of the castle. The underground is sealed off by four switches, though. Yep, we've discovered some of those switches. They're in the northeast, southeast, northwest, and southwest areas. Once you've flipped all four switches, the path to the central castle will open. I'm sure they're well guarded, so be on your guard. Well, they weren't well guarded. We were just walked up to them, but I'm guessing what he means is when we open it, something's going to show up to fuck us up. Yes, I got all that. Aha, now we have the switch key. Okay, so take this switch key with you. I found it earlier. Adol received the switch key. All right. I'm still looking for the Asura sword. The four areas with switches are connected underground. Go northeast, southwest, uh, southeast, northwest, and southwest. I'm counting on you to make it to that control room. When all this is over, I'm buying you 20 rounds of drinks. Dude, after this, I don't buy drinks anymore. You buy my drinks. That's how this works. You guys aren't paying me. The least you could do is bankroll my bar tab. I will be returning to the... Yeah, I'll be returning to the hideout. I hope we meet again. <laughs> all right. I'm telling Professor Orwell about the future. Please take care. Okay, so you're telling me the same shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You already told me that. Uh... So I may want to go back to Kefin and go deal with that alchemist and have them make me some more flux stone. Okay, so this is the west area. So now I need to find... Well, why don't we try pulling one of the switches and just see how it goes. Yeah, yeah. Did I just go to a southwest area? Yep, southwest area switch room. Okay, good. Let's try one of these and see how it goes. Flip the switch. Yep, okay. I just leave? No, oh, no, I can't leave. I do have to kill this dude. I do have to kill this dude. I just don't. Okay. 
I jump. Okay, this is officially annoying. Yeah, you want to die. Thank you. Doors open. <laughs> okay, so that's what I could expect when uh, opening these gates. So we did the southwest. South Tower. It's the southeast area over here. I don't need to go back in the South Tower. We could try just skipping over that, going this way. Southeast. Okay. This leads up this way. I think this is the way to the switch room. Nope, this is just East Area entirely. Wait. Well, let's find out what's in the East Area. I think this is actually where we teleported in from. Yeah, this is where we teleported in from. And these guards just leave us alone, which is kind of cool. Alright, so that leads up to that area. This way. Let's try and find that southeast. Whoops. And now Seraph begins to get lost again. That's how this works. <laughs> I'm certainly collecting a lot of money, although I don't think at this point I've got anything else to need money for. Southeast area. Yeah, we got another switch room. Oh boy. This shit's gonna be fun. This is gonna be bullshit. Yep, we gotta go over. No. Hey, Sarah, if I got an idea, how about you actually jump properly? Wild idea, I know. Alright, let's do this. Ah. Ow. Damn it. Not a big deal. Yeah, you keep forming there, buddy. Oh, damn it. Had that well set up. Come on, go over there. I liked it when you were doing that. I don't know still works. East area, we go up to the other door. I'm getting the hang of this. I'm starting to get the lay of the land here. And then once I open the final switch, I'll go back to Kefin and save. Because at that point, I definitely don't want to do this shit again. And I walked too close to it. East area. Okay. Now this one I don't think I've been to yet. Or have I? And I just don't remember. Yeah, I don't think there's any other way up here. Oh, okay. I'll take a wind element. It looks like if I'm up here I can jump that though. 
Alright, let's do this. Yeah, here you are. Thankfully, there's a sound cue. Gotcha. Alright. We're... Northeast area. Okay, so now we just need Northwest. Can't wait to find a uh, sword. I think this is the way to Keffen. No, oh, this door doesn't open. I'm guessing that door will open later? Can't get down that way. Ah, uh, fuck. Alright, fine. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I guess I can't do anything else over here. I'm going to have to go back to the east area and backtrack a little bit. Right, so I can't do anything else over there. I'm guessing that door opens. That must be the control room door that I need to try to get open. That's probably what that is. I mean, it makes sense. So let's cruise. I need the northwest. There we go. West. Central. Ah. Oh, no, no, no. Don't go up through that. Because that'll just... That's a one-way trip. <laughs> that is a one-way trip. All right. Good to know. This way. Alright, let's charge up magic and we'll use magic on this thing. Plus, at least then I could level up my magic this way. Hey, buddy. Ow, it moved! God damn it. Clearly, sometimes that's not a good option. Oh, there's one right here. I see it. That's not my fault. How do you not? How do you see? It? Um, that actually might be the way to Kevin. Now I'm trapped down here. Either way, let's go up this way. Maybe this is the way I'm looking for. Is this the northwest switch? Yep, northwest switch room. All right. Ooh, and there's a treasure chest. I wonder if that's the sword I've been looking for. Yep. Ah, they call it the Isios Blade, but yep, I had a feeling. Cool, so if I had just been a little more thorough, I would have found it. That's alright, this will make my life easier. Yeah, holy shit. Nice. Alright. Let's see what other asshole shows up now. Oh, it's a different motion. Yeah, I definitely do more damage. You little bastard. And you're dead. Okay. So we came in through here. Right? There wasn't any other area to go, right? I'm not crazy. Exit up here. No exit up there. Cool. All right. Well, we have all four switches. 
Now I just need to figure out where the control room is. How do I get to Pepe? So that's this area. If I remember correctly, it was somewhat in the area of the northwest area. I think it was pretty close to that, because we got to that switch room fairly quick. Oh, never mind. We're right here. Sweet. Some part of Seraph's mind must have remembered. So I need the in. There we go. There's our in. Let's save. We just did a lot of important shit. Yes. Record my adventure. For sure. Okay. Also, what level am I? Oh, wow. We gained three levels in that whole thing. Holy shit. All right. All right. So now we just go to the pub. Report that we've switched all the switches. We should know where we're going at that point. That pub was over here, right? No, the pub was down here. Yeah, there's the pub. Uh, and there's another exit. So thankfully there are a couple of ways to get to the city of Kefin. So if I get lost, it's not catastrophic. Yep, here we go. At all, we've got major trouble. The boss has been captured. <laughs> Damn it. Of course he did. Kevin Castle, West Prison. Dude, I just left you. How did you get captured? How does that even happen? We literally just left. <laughs> Nana, where are you? Wait for me. And then Alga. Uh, I can't believe you kids got caught too. Oh, the Ebergang gang got captured. <laughs> God damn it, guys. After we risked our lives to save Nienna, no less. And all that treasure we nabbed right down the drain. Hang on, Mom. I'm listening to the ocarina. <laughs> yep, so that character right there, she 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 appears later. She's cool. It sounds really pretty. I'm so sorry. This whole mess is my fault. Oh, don't worry about that, Missy. We're not exactly covering new ground here. <laughs> That's true. This is the second time they've been captured and put into a prison. Right? Twice? It's at least twice? Yeah, it's only twice, but still, twice. This is not, in fact, new for them. Uh, what's wrong? My head. It hurts. Ah, she's getting her memories back, my guess. Oh, you're awake. How do you feel? Where am I? Am I back? What's that supposed to mean? You're in Kefin. You were kidnapped in Xandria and brought here. Kefin. Xandria. But I... What's wrong with her, Ma? She's acting weird. Where's the professor? Why am I even here? Professor Orwell sent me on an important mission. To the physical world. And then I woke up in the desert and Father Stein saved me. <laughs> what? Yeah, at this point now they're realizing. Isn't that Orwell guy a famous alchemist here or something? I heard the name before, so what the hell's going on? So you mean that before Stein found you, you lived here? Hey, don't worry. Just leave it all to us. Well, here we go. Well, my parents couldn't support me, they left me with Professor Orwell. And he took care of me. 
He saw that I had an aptitude for the art of alchemy and schooled me in its teachings. Okay, so she is also an alchemist. That's good to know. Around when I became skilled enough to help with his work, it was an accident with the barrier that enclosed the city. Yep, the seal was weakened and the barrier began to fluctuate wildly. When Orwell realized what had happened to the crystals, he sent me to the physical realm to restore the seal. Okay, that does make sense here. But when I crossed over from Kefin, the shock of transition pretty much wiped out her memories. It caused me to lose my memory completely. Yep. And then that's why the barrier continued to destabilize, because he sent you to do it and you just completely forgot your mission. Wow, that's quite the story. You must have a lot of nasty memories coming back to you. But hey, at least you're still here, right? Hearing that story actually kind of worries me, but it'll be all right. Adol's here too, so I've no doubt he'll come to help. He's one hell of a softie, that one is. <laughs> yep, yes I am. There's just something about him that's not like most folks you meet. We were finally able to open that door to the north. We tried entering the castle, but we got swarmed by guards in no time. Our leader stood his ground against them in order to buy us time to get away. So we had to come back without him, but he's imprisoned in the castle's west wing. Please, Adol, save our leader. We're counting on you. We have no one else we can depend on now. All right, you idiots. Now, granted, you didn't really tell me the way. Yep, yeah, still don't know where they are. And Professor Orwell is really worried about Nianda, too. Feels fairly responsible for what's happened to her. So I guess we're just going to go north. If only we were all as strong as you. Yep. Yes. <laughs> An army of adults would be unstoppable. <laughs> Alright, time to storm the castle. I am, however, going to save. So we don't have to go through all that exposition again. This is Sivy of Kefin. You don't look like you're from around here. No. I'm not. Do I talk to this alchemist and see what we can make? Yeah, what the hell. Let's see. Fire, fire, fire invokes combustion magic. That's probably pretty badass. But yeah, they don't really tell you dark flash. That sounds kind of awesome. But yeah, it's just like, all right, guess what fire and fire and dark does? I don't have a clue what any of this shit actually does. Invokes heat boil magic? Okay, well, that sounds kind of awesome. Invokes catastrophe magic? That sounds awesome! Invokes mega tornado magic? Alright, so might do some of those. Alright, so let's. This dark flash sounds kind of awesome. Let's do that. Let's make that. And then let's see what else we can do. And we're just hoping for the best here. It's really all we can do is just kind of guess. Yeah, I like the whole catastrophe. Let's make catastrophe. Hopefully these combinations are actually pretty decent. Right. Second, this menu is going to open again. Thank you. So, flux stone. Oh, right, because we have a new sword. So yeah, let's go with that. Oh, uh, yeah, let's 
do that. Sure. Okay. So we got Dark Flash, we got Dark Boil, and then Catastrophe. Sounds good. Okay, this is our first one, Sexta. That's just a fireball. But at least the fireball is easy to manipulate and use. It just doesn't do a whole lot. There's our, yep, there's our in. Yes, please report my adventure. this also tell me what my levels are anywhere? It does not tell me. Oh, yeah, it does. All right, so I'm, okay, cool. I'm level 18 sword and a level 9 alchemist. It is what it is. <laughs> um, it's probably good that I'm using magic a little bit just so that the level isn't, like, completely in disparity. I'm guessing. I just wonder if any of the townsfolk, because I didn't really talk to any of them, I just kind of went north and then got roped into all of that. Okay, so now can I go this way? Ah, yep, now we can go onto the Judgment Hall. What? If you have no business here, then leave. So, nope, don't need to go that way. I'm guessing I can't go this way. Maybe this way? I feel like they explained the way to go, but I didn't quite grasp it. So, I feel like I need to go back underground. Hey, you guys don't want to, like, tell me which way to go again, do you? <laughs> That'd be real convenient. That would be super convenient. Essential. I think... I think that might actually... Well, no. That's not the way I want to go. Uh, maybe this way? Yeah, underground northwest? No, let's go over this way. Open this door. That's a dead end. Where am I supposed to go? Uh, now, now we're back to the switch rooms. At least the door is open now. Don't worry about that. Central does have a nice easy way to get up to the city of Kefin. Uh, I think I went up this way before. I think this just leads to the northwest search room. Yep, it does. Oof. Alright, maybe I have to go all the way back to that western area. Is that what I have to do here? Ground Central 
How do I get to the western area? This? Or does this just take me back to Kefin? Yep, this takes me back to Kefin again. Uh... Oh man, I'm so lost. <laughs> I'm so lost. Like, I'm not a big fan of, like, the whole waypoint markers where they really hold your hand, but at the same time, I feel like the game didn't really explain super well where I was supposed to go. I feel like I need to go to the control room, but I don't know where that is. Um... Let's go back to the pub. Maybe if I talk to everybody there, one of them will remind me which way I need to go. Oh, that's a sneeze coming. Yep. <laughs> Stupid nose. Like, I don't need a waypoint marker, but uh, like, just a, hey, Seraph, this is how, you know, I need you to go this place. Because they said I have to go to the castle, but I can't get in the castle. If only we were as strong as you. Yep, you're all just going to tell me the same thing. Okay, the base has to be on the north side of the western area somewhere. Okay, so I do need to go to the western area. Okay, that that's helpful. That That's cool, thank you. I must have missed that dude the last time I was going through here. Okay, cool. I just have to find the western area. Again. Where the one dude was. Uh, Professor Orwell. So I gotta go find Professor Orwell. Let's cruise over this way and see if Seraph can find the western area. Should be over this way. And it's not super helpful how uh, everything just kind of looks alike. West, I want to go west. You're going to be a switch room. Yep, you're the northwest switch room. So there's got to be a way up over here that I just missed. Down here, not down there. That's the way up. Wait. So here's my problem. Okay, so let's go down and try and get up. I need to be on an elevated area. And then get over there. I need to be on that area. So, what gives? Yeah, yeah, whatever. There's gotta be another way down. Is there another door? I think so. No, there's only one way up. I think I'm on the right track. I just gotta figure out how to get back up there from a different screen and then stay on the upper level. Let's see how I'm supposed to stay up on the upper level here. Okay, I found the east area. <laughs> now if I could just find the west area. So another news. Uh, let's see. 
new in Seraph land while I try and figure this shit out. There's gotta be a way to connect over there. This. Damn it. <laughs> nope, just found another way up to heaven. Okay, let's go this way. And there's no other way down. This leads to the west area. Please lead to the west area. There it is, okay. And now I could go through this again, and hopefully get to where I need to go. Let's just say hi to Professor Corwell. Please, Hedel, go help Stein. This is serious. Our leader has passed through the facility into the castle. The only way there is the exit to the north of the western area. That supposed place is supposedly full of traps, so take caution. No worries, let's go back into this area. We've got this. Perfect, now we've got this. Okay. Yeah, no, that is the right. That is the right way. Okay. It just looked the same, so it freaked me out at first. I hate how everything looks the same. All right. Back here we are. going. Let's head up this way. Just make sure there wasn't anything up here. Oh, there was something up here. Ah, and now we're in the west wing. Okay, this is the area, this is the area I'm supposed to go. Oh boy. Tons of areas I can go now. Yep, I'm gonna get totally lost in this fucking place. Alright, let's, uh, let's try and regroup. Let's Come up with a good plan for how to look around. Oh, you're gonna throw a fucking javelin at me. I know you are. Get it. Hey, freak butt! Let's open up a map. How are you, my friend? Greetings! Welcome, raiders! Let's just, let's just do this really fast. <laughs> how is everybody? Welcome, 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 raiders. I am Resplendent Seraph, I'm playing East 5. We're gonna try and beat the game tonight, and I think we're closing in on the end here. How did the uh, randomizer go? Welcome, let's do a, give you a shout out. Oh, we got uh, all that music in the, playing in the background. Actually, I'm looking at it, that music is a little on the loud side. Am I getting, well, no, I, I think it's, I think it's still probably okay. Oh, never mind. Ghosty's got it. Thank you, Ghosty. I appreciate that. <laughs> Vegeta most of the work, but Goku ended up with the win. Oh, can you imagine if Vegeta actually did most of the work and then all of a sudden Goku just, like, kill steals? That guy would rage to the ends of the earth. <laughs> oh, uh, the game capture's a little off, isn't it? Let's fix that. There we go. There we go. That looks better. Yeah, he did that in Super. Oh, God, that's amazing. Hello, cat. Hello, kitty kitty. How's my good kitty? <laughs> Denied Vegeta's vengeance against Frieza. <laughs> oh my god. That's great. Well, awesome. It's always nice when a randomizer works out well. So as you can see, we have uh, gone through the portal and we have reached Lost Kefin. And we have, uh, we have so far not rescued Nana, but she does have her memories back. The Iber gang actually had rescued her at one point, but then they all got themselves captured. Uh, we managed to find Stein. He got himself captured. 
but we did open all of those uh, various gates and now we've got access to the castle from the underside and that's how we're, we're well, that's what we're trying to do right now it just took me a while to figure out like how things worked and kind of try and figure out how to actually go uh, so the next three seeds will have a theme. I'm going to pair up the Earthbound Kids with uh, failed 1990s game mascots. Oh my god. That sounds hilarious. <laughs> uh, but yes, uh, I do appreciate the shoutouts. Freakbot has a great channel. He's also the one that kind of got me into streaming to begin with, so I do appreciate that. The randomizers are always great fun. Rob the Wonderful plays a bunch of... Uh, like Namco and Capcom and um, uh, Cross Exxon, uh, uh, good grief, I'm forgetting the name now, Project uh, Exxon, there it goes, uh, which has been amazing fun, beat that recently, uh, does play a bunch of Stardew Valley as well, and oh my goodness, so I have a thread loose on my shirt, jeez, it's a good thing Cat didn't find that, that would have been a snack, uh, Darkstar plays Shining Force 3 lately, that's a fun time, there's a... <laughs> The drink stream is always a good time to hang out and uh, have fun. Plus, Shining Force is one of them. At least, I think it's one of the iconic RPG franchises of all time. But speaking of iconic RPG franchises, let's get back to a little bit of East 5 here. So we're in the, the castle here, and I just got here, and I'm trying to figure out what the hell's going on here. That's what we're doing. Oh, you, got, you cheap little shit. Oh, we don't play that. All right, so this is locked. Can't get in there. I'm guessing we're going to have to go up on that west side. Nope. You're not going to stabby stabby me with that javelin. Let's just, oh, I didn't even get the stone for it. Although I don't even think I need money at this juncture. Let's head up this way. Whoops. I think it's easier to dodge you. Yeah, that was good. Nice job, Seraph. Wait, is that it? Nothing else to do up here? No, oh, no, there's nothing else to do up here. All right, well, fine. The center it is. Mm. Okay, one of the other nice things also, we have ourselves a heel ring. So I can just heal now anywhere I want. We're gonna do that. Plus we did save right before getting here. Come on, heal before that guy. Yeah, there it is. Jesus. Let's try to heal again. Then we'll re-equip our power ring. And we'll go try to rescue all our friends. Oh, damn it. Stop it. I'm trying to heal. Leave me alone. <laughs> Granted, this isn't as bad as East 4 when we were healing and then all of a sudden everything spawned from everywhere. It was like zombies from everywhere. A you really think that was going to work there, buddy? Okay, Let's go back to our power ring. Okay. Now then. No other way to go, right? Nope, no other way to go. Alright, well, if there's only one way to go, let's do it. What the hell is this? Oh, I thought I hit that right. Man. I threw like a cluster of daggers. That sucked. Stabby. So yeah, we're literally in a 500-year-old uh, city. Oh shit, what the fuck is this? I smell a boss fight. Who's a good cat? What's going on here? I don't understand. Oh my god, I'm gonna die! I don't even know what was happening. Oh, I wasted my item. No. What's going on? Is this a puzzle of some sort? What the fuck is this? God damn it. I just lost my fucking heal item. And I don't even know what happened. 
Although my fault, I was chatting instead of paying attention to what the fuck was going on. Um, shit. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> Just... <laughs> Uh, at least we got to skip Turtle Rock this time. Oh, well, that's good for you. I know you hate Turtle Rock, which is so weird. That's my favorite dungeon of that game, for sure. Hell, Turtle Rock might be my favorite Legend of Zelda thing ever. All right. So what's going on here? All right, so if I stay put, this doesn't do anything. Okay. Damn it. I don't under it's a puzzle of some sort, but I don't understand what it, how it works. And I it's very unresponsive. Well, there's our first game over. That is very lame. That is very lame. <sighs> so does it load? We got all this shit. Um, let's go to our items. I want to see if I got my item back or if I have to buy it. Or if, uh... Life drop. Okay, we got our life drop back. So, whatever. It just, I guess it just auto-levels. It really feels like you're descending into hell. The problem is I don't... Now we gotta find it again. Ugh. God damn. What the fuck is up with that puzzle? So, you know, I actually like puzzles, but I like puzzles that give you some sort of clue as to how they work. I'm not sure how that works. Um, I'm guessing there are safe tiles, but how do you know which ones are safe? Am I just gonna have to keep doing that over and over again until I, uh... Probably gonna have to just keep doing it over and over again until I, uh, by trial and error. Was there a clue somewhere in there that I missed? Maybe there was a clue I missed somewhere. Let's try it again. Alright. Fortunately, at this point, I hopefully know where we're going. So even if I have to go through that again, it's not really the end of the world, but... Um... So... So it's not a boss fight, it's a puzzle. Hmm. Oh! Bullshit! I killed you before you got that last target off. Whatever. <laughs> okay. so that didn't take long to get back here, but now what? I mean, maybe I skip it by going up here? Is that what's going on here? Maybe I just skip it. I'm just going to take a shit ton of damage. Let's try it. Oh, god damn it. No. Oh, come on. That's bullshit. I went over and it registered a trigger to the left. I was supposed to go up. Go up. Wait, the door's not opening. Thank you. Fucker. That was bullshit. That was horseshit. I hit up and it moved me left, just to fuck me over the life drop. Viewers, if you're watching a rerun, please don't phone in and tell them the answer, right? <laughs> God damn it. I feel like I just got hosed out of my life drop. Oh, it's you, Adol. It looks like they're setting up a massive judgment, and soon. I think the city's going to be revived. Yeah, uh, where have you been, dude? I'm sorry to have to ask, Adol. Oh, will you please help me? Yep. All right, let's get you out of here. All right. We're now free from... We are now free of our bonds. 
By the power of alchemy, the kingdom of Kefin shall be restored to its former glory. This is why we need more sacrifices than we ever have before. The judgment of fate is at hand. Kill any interlopers on sight. Our great kingdom's future depends on us. Bring it glory, or we brought your demise. Yes, sir. Okay, well, this guy's an asshole. <laughs> uh, might have to be Gloom Approach, the final dungeon of Tears of the Kingdom. It's amazingly good to see you, uh, oh, it's amazingly good to see you, Hale and Beauty Stein, and, oh, Hale and Hardy Stein. Good, it autumn warped me back here, so I don't have to go through that puzzle thing again. Yes, I don't know what I would have done if not for Adol. All right, everyone, listen. Orwell will do, began to explain what had transpired up to now. The judgment of fate finally draws near. This may well be our only chance to act. The good news is, now that we're back in Kefin, I'm just going to buy another life drop. I've got tons of money. If the Philosopher's Stone is drained of power, it will destroy the city. There is no other way to safeguard the physical realm. <laughs> Time doesn't pass here like it does out there. Oh yeah, it's an important plot point. I'll rehash this in a second. The Kefinians have been shielded from the passage of time, and its sudden onset may destroy them. Yeah, they're going to age 500 years in a moment, uh, <laughs> reducing them to dust. Just like the city itself, and the stone, I suspect. Rize plans... Oh, and Rize is the last royal member of the family of Kefin. Rize plans to use the next sacrifices to keep the flow of time carefully regulated. I believe they intend to then use their alchemy to establish control over the entire world. Oh, okay. Lovely. We must find some means of destroying the stone before they can succeed. The townsfolk are not to blame for this. We must find a way to spare them. That's where you'll come in, at all. All right, I guessed most of that. <laughs> At all. Won't you help us? Our only chance is during this judgment of fate. We must all do our best for the good people of Kefin. Alright. Yep, you guys go out there. Now I think I'll just head straight up into the castle. I think that's how this works now. Or we'll go right into that judgment area. I know it's a large task to take on, but I want to help the people of Kefin. To be honest, I want you to help because you have that bracelet. We can use it to control the Philosopher's Stone. So... I would like for you to go to the control room in the center of the castle. To get there, you can use the route that Stein found near the Hall of Judgment. When the judgment starts, you'll be the first in line. The other partisans will follow immediately after. Once you reach the control room, the stone should react to the bracelet. When you use it, the power that regulates time should send the city back. All of this will be sent back into the past, where it belongs. The gate to the physical realm will remain open only for a short while, hopefully long enough to get the townsfolk to safety. Do you understand? Yeah, and me. Don't forget me. <laughs> I do wonder why the bracelet is in your possession. Yeah, some emo guy gave it to me. I thought that only wizards of ages ago could use it. And you certainly don't look like a wizard. At any rate, you having it means that we now have a way to save the townsfolk. Thank you, Adol. It's also let us use magic this whole time. Oh, hey, speaking of which, how you doing, brother? Looks like that bracelet will prove to be quite useful. I should have guessed that Orwell would know about it. But remember, even I don't know what'll happen when you use it. Be careful. All that's left now is to wait for that moment to arrive. I shall bide my time at the inn, in the interim. <laughs> All right, Stoker, uh, you, you just, you stay stange, bro. You stay stained. <laughs> Don't change, man. Right, so now we're back in the bar storehouse. Welcome. At last, huh? Yep, still no... They still don't know where the customers are. Alright, so let's go get ourselves a... Um, let's go get ourselves a replacement for that life drop that the game stole from us. At least, I think the game stole it from us. I hit up, and it moved left. <laughs> Sucks. That's alright. We're gonna make... Yeah, we're basically gonna make our money back on that. Like, drop it. It's fine. It's almost a wash. 
Give me that life drop back. Give me, give me, give me. Save. And then Seraph is going to get another soda refill. And check on Cat, because I don't see where she is, and she's being too quiet. And that makes me nervous. <laughs> Alright, so my I, I still level 18 here? Let's take a look. If I go into equipment, it'll say, yep, we're still level 18. All right, so give me two seconds. I'm going to be right back. And when we return, we're going to hopefully begin the end game here. Stay tuned. No cat under my chair. Not under my chair. Oh, there you are, Tina. Oh, you're going to play. I can see you. Get back into things here. Okay. I appreciate that. Definitely need a soda refill. All right. 
let's do this. Let's go rescue Nienna and save the world. Apparently we are saving the world in this game again. <laughs> Amazing how often that happens. Is there something I'm missing? They want me to going into the judgment hall. Yeah, we can't go in here. We just went over this. They want me going in. They want me in first in line. Am I, am I missing something? I probably have to talk to somebody. Maybe I have to talk to someone. Trigger this. What am I missing? What am I missing? Good grief. You want me first in line, and I intend to do that. Ah, the city's changed a lot since that alchemist Jabir showed up. With King Kefin gone, the only remaining member of the royal family is Lady Rize. Who's a kingdom without his king? Oh, we didn't talk about this. Let's, see, let's go in here. Have we gone in here yet? Oh, it's just another way up into this area. What is going on? Am I crazy? Let's go in here. This is probably just is the second floor of the inn. Yep. Here. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> Turn her ch check it out. Ah, at all. Last. Are you complete oh, okay. Are you completely prepared? We did save, and yes, we are ready. Alright, let's go. Cool. Okay, that's what we needed. <laughs> Gotta love the Super Nintendo wipes. Ah yes, the Soylent Green manu uh, maker. <laughs> the judgment of fate is about to begin. Those who are chosen have pledged that they will meet their fates gladly. Come on you, step up onto the platform. There you shall await the result of the judgment. I don't think I'm supposed to stand on the platform itself. I think I'm supposed to kick your ass instead. Well, we saved. Fuck it. Maybe I am supposed to stand here. But we literally just saved, so if this kills us... Like, whatever. <laughs> you break the machine. Congratulations. You have been chosen by our kingdom. Only those chosen may be led beyond this point. Well, that's interesting. Or did they just choose everyone? What happened? Hey! <laughs> Alright, yeah. That was the plan. Ladies and gentlemen, please, I ask you to hear me out. This city is on the brink of collapse. We all have to get out of here, quickly! Who are you? All those who would interfere with the ritual. Boom! <laughs> well, Stein just ended you. You're all being used. The peace you have been promised is nothing more than a lie. The power of alchemy, which sustains this place, is very dangerous. He needs some milk. <laughs> Poor plot armor, that works too. You have been chosen to spleen. <laughs> oh, man. Putting all your lives in danger. That's why the judgment of fate exists. Those who are chosen are snuffed out like candles. Do not let yourselves be used. You could find true peace. You must not let yourselves be destroyed with this city. You have to get you out of here to a safe location. Please, just follow my instructions. Alright, so we're gonna fuck up this ritual and then fuck up all these assholes. Using this passage should lead directly into the castle. Let's do it. 
We'll do everything we can to get the residents to safety. The intended victims don't seem to want to leave. Yeah, they're pretty brainwashed. I do have to go over by Stein. Maybe I need to go back this way. Adol, come on. We can use this passage to reach the Philosopher's Stone Chamber. Okay, I'm trying. How do I get to you? Blind. Am I blind? Do I jump down? Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> the soldiers in the castle might as well be no more than puppets. Keep your guard up, and your eyes peeled. Alright, let's do this. Hey, hey, Sal, what's going on? Good to see you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Here, oh, shit! I meant to switch over. Alright, that's okay, we saved. <laughs> Lurking and gaming, that'll teach me. I got, I I've been playing so much MechWarrior, I went to, uh pause real quick and I hit the exit button. So let's just do, uh, uh, let's do the shout out since I accidentally crashed the game here. <laughs> Cause I'm brilliant. <laughs> I'm a dumb ass. Let's try that again. <laughs> we always have a good time. <laughs> oh yeah. Imagine, you know, thank goodness I just saved and I could laugh about this. If we had been played for like an hour, we probably would have watched Seraph die a little inside right there. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, there's no confirmation. You hit the uh, the game exit button and it just exits immediately. <laughs> see, we're playing. We're play You've been lurking, so you already know what we're doing. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Yeah, thank God I saved. Oh my goodness. All right. So yeah, this time I'm not going to wander around. Hey, at last, are you completely prepared? Yes, let's do it. Let's just do this scene one more time. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> so let's do this judgment hall thing one more time. Oh, goodness gracious. Uh, so how have you been? How's your week going? Always good to see you. <laughs> I should probably change my exit button for this to something else. Because it's not the first time I've gone to pause the game to switch to the chat. And I've exited the game entirely. <laughs> oh, man. Too funny. All right, come on, you step up to the platform. Oh, wait. The light of judgment. Yep. Totally going to go up here to this non-sus thing. And now my bracelet's going to break it. Much more helpful when I know what's going on. <laughs> but yeah, as always, we're having fun here. <laughs> I was actually hanging out on uh, Tavari's channel uh, earlier today. I was lurking from the chaos of my work. So unfortunately, I couldn't really get a chance to chat all that much. I could hear mostly what was going on, but but uh, yeah, was, it, work was completely bonkers today. Congratulations, you've been chosen by our kingdom. Totally random. We don't choose everybody. We totally choose everybody for our Soylent Green machine here. Only those chosen may be led beyond this point. Although I do think it's cool that they did this whole turning people into magic power thing years before the Matrix did it. I mean, it's not exactly this, like, completely new idea. But I, I feel much more positively about this development, this, like, plot curveball, than if this game had been done after the Matrix. It's all good. No, don't worry. <laughs> right, right. Don't ever worry about that. All good. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was fun. It was fun today. Uh, what happened? Hey. Ladies and gentlemen, please, I ask you, hear me out. The city's on the brink of collapse. We got to get out of here. You shall not interfere. There's our, our friend Stein again. All right. Yes, yes. You're being used. Don't, we don't want you to die. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> Destroy, da da da, get you to safe location. Just follow my instructions, yes. Hurry up and get them out of here. All right, using this passage should lead directly into the castle. Yep. Now this time I know which way I'm going. 
Soldiers and castmates will be no more than puppets. Keep your guard up and your eyes peeled. All right, let's do this for real this time. This time without the oops. <laughs> IRL always first. <laughs> That's right. I mean, especially at work. I think a lot of people will will like lurk a lot at work while they're doing stuff. Oh, and now we're on this side. Okay, cool. That's how we get over here. All right. Oh, and now, ah, now we're over here. Okay, perfect. Yeah, I could see that from down below. All right, up we go. Oh. Ow, I thought I would dodge you. You got me once, that's enough. I feel like I was already in here before. But maybe not. Okay, so this leads here. Is that a locked door? Yep, of course it's locked. It's almost a mirror of the last one. We already killed those guys. <laughs> one, two, three, and stab two, three. Yep. <laughs> you got it, freak bot. Hell yeah, let's do this. Gotta watch out for that guy. Oops. Ah, yeah. Not that big a deal. Oh, you know what? We'll just stab this guy. Oh, that didn't kill you. Ooh, we have an Isios ring, huh? What does that do? Let's find out. Let's find out. What does that do? Can negate 10 enemy attacks before breaking? <laughs> okay, that's pretty badass. All right, we'll save that for our last boss. That's, uh, that's ridiculous. Okay, we came in from that direction, so up we go. swing. Good. I'm glad this isn't turning into, like, a huge uh, completely... Well, no, I shouldn't jinx it. I should not jinx it. But so far, this doesn't look like an absolutely absurdly huge mega dungeon. Hmm. Those don't look reminiscent of the goddess statues from East, do they? From the actual land of East. I mean, they're not... They don't have wings, but dual... That looked like dual goddess statues to me. All right, so we got Commander Carry in here. So you ignored my warning and came here anyway. Are you that eager to die? Maybe you think you're going to be some kind of messiah. Very well, follow whatever path you feel you must. But know this, the path you've chosen is treacherous and unforgiving. And to go any further, you must first get past me. I hope you go to your grave with a clear heart, at all, Kristen. Yep, let's begin. I probably should have healed first. Whoops. Oops. Oops. Do 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 do. Where's my item? There we go. I'm beginning to see how this, how we deal with this person. Heal potion. Yeah, let's, let's do that. We're almost healed. Ow. That sucked. Ah. Oh, okay. That was different. Man, this guy's fast. He moves around pretty good. Make me make me use items. Not good. Ah. I wonder if there's a certain distance I could be at where he doesn't do that shit. Yeah. That I just have to dodge. 
Dodge straight into it. That was stupid. Oh, that sucked. We got you. <laughs> All right. The menu is so awkward to use. It's not infuriating, but it's definitely awkward. It is. It's, it's not a good design. <laughs> Beware my pool noodle of the damned. <laughs> All right. Oh my goodness gracious. All right, so why did we, wait, why did I even come in here? Is there no other way out? Oh, okay, I came in here and now I, I leave this way. Okay, that's, what, that's what's going on here. Okay, now, it, now I would like to save, but oh well. Came in through there. Ah. That sucked. Keffin Castle. Okay, we're now in the central hall. Uh, can I leave that way? Door won't open. Ah, okay, so that's that door. Okay, and then same thing over here. This door won't open, and that's where we were before. Okay. This all makes sense now. Nothing in here, nothing in here. Well, that would have been nice. Hey, can I leave this way? Oh, all right, well, couldn't hurt to try. Up through here. All right, so we've reached the Kefik control room. Adol followed the instructions given to him by Orwell. This is neat. I am glad we played this. Hey, Stoker. Welcome back, dude. This is the effect of the bracelet. It diverts the flow of time? Um, that sounds like a totally OP bracelet. Okay. My thoughts must be reacting to the bracelet's power. Oh, okay. I can no longer exist in this place. Well, it makes sense why he was in Keffin 500 years ago and also in the present. I mean, granted, we kind of figured mostly that out anyway. Oh, can I ask a favor? The next place you... The next place you should go is... Okay, I'm guessing Stoker actually told that all, and we just were not privy to that. Alright, so this is where we came into Keffin. It looks like I was right about how to control it. Now the gate has bypassed the seal and links to the kef- and links- Okay, yeah, there's a little bit of a grammar issue here. Uh, I'm just gonna read it exactly how it is. Now the gate has bypassed the seal and links to the keffin in the physical realm. I think we'll make- I think we'll be able to make more- Alright, so the gates bypassed the seal and Keffin is linked to the physical realm. I think that's how that's supposed to read. We don't have much time. We need to hurry. So now all these townsfolk are getting the hell out of here. Good, yeah, you guys get out. Alright, the evac is beginning. Yep, <laughs> get the hell out. Now it looks like Keffin cities have been evacuated. Good, that looks like Stein just making sure. Cool. Very cool. I guess there's no one left here. Good. All right. So now there's just me, Nienna, and uh, Rize, <laughs> and this other alchemist running around, uh, Jador. Time is running out. Come on, doctor. But we haven't found Nienna yet. I'll wait for her here. No, you mustn't. Without you, how are we going to lead the refugees out here safely? The path is not the same as what they'll be familiar with. You have to keep them from getting lost. Let me and Stein handle the rest. Please, you must go. Now. 
You carry quite the burden on your shoulders, it seems. I knew what I was getting into when I accepted this mission. Thank you, Masaya. Professor Orwell, please, be safe. Alright, the city's cleared out, but no trace of Nienna. The only place left is the castle. Then we'll need to share her fate. Let's go. <laughs> Seize the alchemist! Allow none to interfere! This looks like a uh, flashback. No, this is not a flashback. This is me. Okay. This looks really familiar, though. We've been here before. We have absolutely been here. Okay. <laughs> this was uh, where Forresta was. Uh... Yeah, this is weird shit. This is that cave. But it looks different now. Lucky shot. Frick. Just for my own amusement here, let's uh, go to our heal ring. Let's just heal real fast. Let's go back to our maximum. I know it was only like 15, but every point counts. <laughs> power ring. And I probably will go to that Isodorus ring when we uh, hit this. I would have loved to have saved, but oh well. Hopefully we could get through this. God, I don't want to go through all this again. Ah! Forrester Stoker! Alright, so it looks like we get to do this. Wait, are we changing the past by doing this? Bracelet? Stoker, are you okay? Yes, I'll be right. That is not, that is not how that fucking happened the first time. Holy shit. Okay, this is kind of cool. Uh, yeah, the first time he was cordoned off by all those soldiers, he couldn't get away. And Forrester used magic and permanently encased herself in ice. So we just bailed Stoker out this time. Oh shit, what the, right? What could go wrong, Rob? <laughs> what the fuck? I wonder, who was that man with the red hair? I don't know, but the Lumen Crystal is safe. We should go and rejoin the others. I imagine Orwell must be quite worried. Forresta? I wish... that we could have that... I wish we could have thanked him. <laughs> well, that was different. Okay, that eye-looking thing is fucking creepy. So that must be the... That's got to be the Philosopher's Storm, right? Yeah, that's got to be the Philosopher's Storm. We just completely fucked up the control center here. All right. Now let's go rescue Nienna. I just don't know where I'm going. We've gotten all the townsfolk out, but... I think Nienna's still in the castle somewhere. The Ember Gang has vanished as well. We must find them. Oh, I know where they are. They're being good little lambs for the Philosopher's Stone. Since the townsfolk are gone, you'll just have to be sacrificed in their stead. Raise a weight! Well, that's a cool attack. I've had enough of your meddling! Ah, this, these stairs weren't there the first time. Suddenly, a short blonde guy in a red long coat and a living suit of armor walk in. <laughs> oh, man. Pretty straightforward here. Let's do this. I really wish we could have saved, but oh well. Hopefully, I can do this the first try. All those here to be used as sacrifices. Yep, Ibergang and Nienna. They will become the foundation of Keffin's new world. I still don't know where this other alchemist is, though. You will go no further. You, who would despoil our fair kingdom. Only those chosen may go beyond this point. 
But I was chosen, remember? You chose me. I totally can come. You've made a grievous error in coming here, and repentance shall be extracted from your corpse. Or I could just, you know, equip the Asodorus ring and um, negate ten sources of damage. Ah, here's this alchemist. Finally. Oh, a Jabir clone, huh? Let's see, what do we got here? Ooh, I could use magic! Right? No, I can't use magic. Okay, never mind. It looked like it was going to let me. Okay, I can block that. That's good to know. Okay. Okay, can't, can't. I have to dodge that. He's like a block. Alright, so I'm guessing the real Jabir will do a lot more damage than this shit. Damn it. Here's another attack. This I have to dodge. Ow! Okay, next time, actually dodge it, Seraph. Ah, fucker. That looks like I made the right decision to... Yeah, okay, let's just heal. I'm very quickly running out of heal potions. Well, no, I've still got eight. Ow. I could have waited a little longer, but probably better off considering how much damage this thing does. Come on, man. Sucks that it hit me twice. Like, come on. Oh, Jesus. Okay, I guess I can't hit him there. Oh, come on. How are you supposed to dodge that? Although I did dodge it once, but... Take your damage. Right. Right. So I only wasted one heal thing. All right. Suddenly, so okay, okay. So you can't damage it when all the crystals converge. The exact opposite of what I was thinking, right? <laughs> but we managed to do that pretty well, all all things considered. All right. Let's take. A I just want to see. Right, we're level 19. I feel like that should be good. I mean, we've been gaining levels. Yeah, second form. Well, that's why they. I like that they said clone Jabir. That way we knew already it wasn't cheap. Philosopher's Stone. All right, so I got. Yep, cool. We're rescuing them. Sweet. Yeah, we know there's going to be a second form. All right, Rize. I admire your determination, Natal. Few would come so far. I know what you're thinking. You thought that by operating the stone directly, you could destroy the city. But I have not lost quite yet. Rize, please stop this. Kefin's been gone for 500 years now. Surely you have to know why it was sealed away to begin with. This place holds the power to wipe out all of creation? Okay. What? How can you even say that, foolish girl? I'm a Kefinian as well, Rize. My parents were subjected to judgment and sacrificed to the stone. The only one left to take care of me was Orwell. He saw my aptitude for alchemy and showed me how to use it and when to use it. Alchemy is useful, yes, but the power of the Philosopher's Stone is destructive. That's why Kefin lost its ties to the physical world. When the crystals were disturbed and the seal on Kefin began to fluctuate, I was sent to the physical realm to repair the flaws in the seal, to prevent the world's destruction. But I failed. I realize now, Rize, we Kefinians can live in the physical world. There's a way to coexist with its people. Just like Orwell and Messiah said, the Philosopher's Stone will destroy the world. Silence! 
What would a child know of such things? What meaning does a royal family have without a nation? The stone's power will let us rebuild that nation, and the rest of the world will know the true strength of Kefin. Rize. Yeah, I don't think we can reason with her. Yeah, I'm gonna have to destroy this Philosopher's Stone. There we go. There's the real Jabir. Well said, Rize. I'd expect no less from Kefinian royalty. You're making a mistake. Alchemy has poisoned your mind and blinded you to the value of human life. I suppose you are determined to keep a closed mind on this matter. Then you will serve me just as well as a sacrifice. Like the rest of the cattle in that other world. Oh shit. <laughs> what are you doing? You'll never survive that. At all, please, you must defeat Jabir and help my father and come back safely. Oh shit, is Nienna taking one for the team here? Nienna may be taking one for the team here. Negotiations have fallen through commence the violence. <laughs> right? <laughs> and now we begin the ultra violence. Oh shit. Yep. Alright, what's going on here? Oh, okay, yeah, that does. Okay, oh. Ow! Ah! Oh. Damn, let's go so fast! Okay, that angle is a pretty good angle. Damn. Ow! Okay, so dodging to the right is the way to go. We're going to be going through a lot of these. <sighs> what worries me is that we couldn't save right before this. I really, really, really don't want to have to go through all of that again. I really, really don't. Mm, stop it. Okay, I think that one's dead now. What's going on now? What's this? What fresh hell is this? Ah, oh, shit. Ow, fuck! How am I supposed to dodge that? You know what? I'm probably not supposed to dodge it. I'm probably supposed to block it. Ow! Yep, you're supposed to block it. That's my problem. Is I supposed to... Oh, I'm supposed to jump. Oh, shit. That's a black hole thingy. Lovely. Good. That's how we... Okay. We can block. Alright. I'm learning. I'm learning here. Learning on the job, but I'm learning. Ah, come on. Okay. I have to be pointed in the right direction. That part sucks. Ow. Nope, 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 nope. You get away from that. Ow. Oh, missed it. Mm. Oh, come on, I was blocking. Right? You're supposed to block that. Just when you think you've got it figured out. Oops, quit that. Ow. I'm really tired of getting hit by this thing. Oh, shit. Got this. 
problem is that a lot, a lot of times it stun locks you. So that's a good hit when it opens its mouth. Do another heal potion. Problem is, I don't think this is the last boss. I think we got something after this. Oof. But yeah, this. Hmm. You know, I'm really tired of this. Wow, we just did 300 damage short. Stunlocking me! Damn it! Mm. I'm not a big fan of stunlocking attacks. Let's just max out here. Yeah, get it right in the gooch, right? Uh, granted, it did deliberately because I'm doing a crap ton of off-stream grinding, but still, so I'm speaking of, I'm refighting all the crap I fought in Mother 3 last Sunday. Oh, God. Yeah. Not fun. Ah. That's the problem. It stunlocks you, so you can't get into a defensive posture. Damn it. Damn it. Oh, come on. Bullshit, I'm blocking. And I was blocking the right way, too. It's not like I was blocking the wrong way. Now you're gonna do this shit? Damn it. How many fucking hit points does this bitch have? <laughs> I've done 300 a few times now. Christ. And of course, you know, I can't buy more heal potions. So I'm dependent on uh, being able to do this on the first try. I'd feel a lot differently about it if I could have saved. I really would feel differently about this if I could have saved. I don't like that I couldn't save. Okay, we got her, finally. It only took uh, seven heal potions. Yeah, right? 100,000 hit points. Problem is, I know, I, I just, I know in my heart that was not the last boss. I mean, I hope it was. It would be really nice if we just beat the game here. But you just know Jabir is going to be this asshole that we're going to have to fight. And I just used all my heal potions. I feel like I fucked up there. I, but I feel like I used half my heal potions just figuring out how to fight her. Alright, but we got everybody out. God, I don't want to do this again. Oh, please don't make me do this again. That is one thing I don't miss about 90s game design, where you die and then have to do like an hour and a half worth of game again. Oh, and they didn't pause. All right. The light from the Philosopher's Stone sent him somewhere else. Neo went to operate the stone herself, so... Yeah, they're talking about what happened to me. I went to look for her, but I had no luck. With the Philosopher's Stone losing its power, it's likely that she and Rize are too. But I still have that Isuro, uh, Isuro ring thing. So at least I can negate 10 hits. The city is starting to collapse, I think. We can't stay here. We have to get out of here, and fast. I hate to say this, everyone, but Deanna went to operate the stone for our sakes. If we let ourselves get killed here, then her sacrifice will have been for nothing. Come on, let's go. I mean, she's right. Get the hell out of there. Alright, Keffin Castle outside, huh? 
I mean, I suppose I could try that quick save thing and see what that does. And maybe quick save will, will bring me back to that instead of the save I have. That would be nice. In case there is any more to this game. But I don't know. <laughs> I just don't know. Yeah, that gate's closing and in a hurry. That's not going to last much longer. Get the hell out. But yeah, Rize did the same thing uh, Dorman did. Turned into a gigantic chemical monster. I hope Adol's all right. Damn it, I didn't read it fast enough. So there's so many times where the text goes so slowly, and then there are times where it goes fast. Come back to us, Adol. Hmm? Is that an ocarina? Now, must be my imagination. <laughs> oh, there's Adol. Adol, you're just in time. We have to hurry. Nope. <laughs> Quick, take my hand. Um, can I... Oops. Let's see what's happening here. <laughs> oh, this place is vanishing in a hurry. Maybe we did beat the game. Oh my god, that would be awesome if we beat the game. I mean, that was a that was a pretty tough at boss. I mean, we went through all of our healing potions there. Oh, shit. Of course, there's an ad playing right in the middle of this shit. Ah, the secret base. Yep. This whole thing's starting to collapse now. Rize, I suppose this is where it all ends. <laughs> so fantastic ad break timing there. If I'd seen, like, I, I hate that Twitch doesn't prompt me like it's supposed to. I would have delayed that for that whole cinematic. But yeah, basically, you just watched a lot of the city start to vaporize and Rize say, well, it looks like this is where it ends, basically. Ah, and now we're back to the, uh, Kef, um, the Kefin ruins in the desert oasis. All right, maybe we did beat the game. That would be awesome. Yeah, I did not. I didn't want to do another fight. <laughs> but it's just weird that we fought a Jabir clone. Like, at that point, just have it be Jabir. So I'm curious what the design was there. I could sw I could have sworn we were going to fight Jabir after all that. But even if there is another fight after this, we still have one heal potion. We've got a life drop. And I may have 100% heal potions. So we may still... We may still be all right if there is another boss after this. But man, this is stir this is sure looking like the end of the game, isn't it, folks? Goodbye, Kevin. I mean, either way, Kevin's gone now. Okay. Nienna. The Phantom City is gone, so the desert should no longer spread throughout the land. It's now just a lost kingdom of sand. Hmm. Huh? Wow, the swordsman in this legend really does look kind of like you, bro. <laughs> I don't know how I never noticed it before. Yep, we changed the past. <laughs> of course, there's no way you could have been around 500 years ago. <laughs> Bro? At all? Where'd you go? What? Bro?
You're all right. Hmm. At this point, I was looking at the statue like, uh, that's... That's not the statue... That, that wasn't here before. <laughs> Once a crisis befell the city of gold that prospered here. People of evil intent sought its art of alchemy to build an empire. The good people grieved, but placed a mystic seal over the city. The evildoers tried to crush their spirits, but there came a savior. He was a swordsman with hair of crimson. All praise to him. Much different than the legends of Adol or the red-haired swordsman that will bring calamity. Those rumors were super fun to have to deal with. All right, now let's go into Forest of Cave here. Yep, the forest is not there anymore. What? Thank you, Sir Adol. We speak to you now from 500 years in the past. If not for you, Foresta would still be frozen and the seal on Kefin would be broken. My deepest gratitude, Adol. The magic which controls time will be granted no more power. Humans have only one chance at life. Lest they should try to live without regrets. Even though we changed the future for the better, using magic to change the world is not so different from what Jabir attempted. That is the lesson you have taught me. Everything I have, I owe to you. And so I have good news. Yeah, I could use some good news. Since Forrester was not frozen, I never used the bracelet and thus I still have my humanity. I speak of the Time Bracelet. By using it, it negates the effects of time's passage for its wearer. Okay. So when the city was collapsing, I used the last of my strength to give it to Nienna. She yet lives at all. Okay. <laughs> Wait, what? Did something happen to Nienna? I'm sorry, Dad, and I'm sorry, Adol. I really wish I could go with all of you. But the power of the Philosopher's Stone is lost. I will lie, along with this city. There you are. If we hurry, we might still make it. Who are you? <laughs> My name's Stoker, just one of the many whom Adol has helped. I can use magic to help you. The contract bracelet has that power still. Oh, has that power. Still. The kingdom of Kefin has fallen, but you need not meet your fate here. You must live on, for your own sake, if for no one else. I will. Ah. There's no need to worry. She's back with Stein by now. But he's been missing for three years. <laughs> Thank you again, Sir Haddle. Poor Willie. He's like so confused. Farewell, my friend. And Willie's just like, what the fuck's going on? I think I missed something. Yeah, boy, Willie, did you miss a ride, buddy. <laughs> Back at Nienna's item shop.
Yep, there's the old, good old town of Xandria and the Ibber gang, who have redeemed themselves after being the bane of my existence through most of the game. But they came through in Act 3. I gotta give them credit. Hey, bro, can I ask you a favor? Bro, you awake? <laughs> You're gonna go off on another adventure, right? Um, would you take me with you? So Dogi never made an appearance in this game. Huh. Are you asleep already? That's funny, Dogi never made an appearance in this game. That's wild. Because this game does chronologically happen after Oath and Filgana. So it's just, it's very, it's Dogie's, I'm sure we'll meet again. Yeah, and that's now two games actually. Dogie wasn't in East 4 at all, uh, except for like a cameo. And he wasn't, or, okay, so he wasn't in East 4 except for a cameo. It wasn't even in this game at all. It's kind of a wild surprise. All right, I guess it's credits time. Let's do it. At all. Er, ahem, <clears throat> at all. He's an amazing young man. Sorry, I thought that was Nana's line. <laughs> I pray he will become the greatest of adventurers. Da, 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 da. <laughs> yep, good old uh, iconic East theme here finally kicking in. Yeah, the soundtrack was very pedestrian for this game. Like, it wasn't bad, but there was literally nothing special about it. Kefin, the Phantom City, collapsed into dust as time caught up to it. Thanks to the actions of one brave red-haired young man, the evil scheme from 500 years ago was thwarted. Courage. An adventurous spirit. A bold will. That man had these rare traits in abundance. I suspect many more adventures await him. Yep. Yes, they do. <laughs> Although it's funny that they do. We suspect many adventures await him. And then there wasn't, almost wasn't anymore. I can only guess what this man will have become by the time our paths should again cross. But I'm looking forward to it. Oh, so Jabir may appear. Oh, from Stein's journals. Okay. So Stein may make another appearance at some point in the future. I thought that was going to be from Jabir's point of view. I'd be like, ooh. Nope. <laughs> Poor Willie. Got left out. Why do you have to go? It's what Adol does, kid. It's what Adol does. A new adventure is calling out to him. You understand, don't you? A new adventure. A new adventure. <laughs> yeah, I get it. Since I'm an adventurer too, you know. <laughs> oh, Tara's going off with the tears. <laughs> At all, you jerk! Just wait five years. Ah, you have to wait nine before the next game. You better come back and see me in five years. Just you wait. I'm gonna be a beautiful woman by then, I swear. Oh my god. <laughs> wow, Japan. <laughs> oh, the Japanity. <laughs> Man, it sure must be nice to be a real adventurer. <laughs> the joke there being Terra's 13 in this game. All right, cool. Let's watch some credits. So that worked out pretty well. Yeah, and it ended up being about three hours. So I'm glad I did not try to push it 
when I was playing this uh, last time, which I think was on Saturday. Um, yeah, I was hungry. It was time. Um, yeah, if I had tried this on Saturday, we would have been at it all night. So we did have, we had an entire act of the game to go. This worked out pretty well. But yeah, not bad. Let's see. As the credits roll here, what's, what are Seraph's, uh, what are Seraph's thoughts now that we've played and beaten East 5? And there's our water spirit who didn't help when we defeated the boss of it and then just let the Ibber gang steal everything. Super, super cool of her. That was, that was awesome. Thanks. Thanks, water spirit. Sound I would put as a C. It wasn't bad, but um, definitely not up to E standards sound wise. The rest of the game was okay. I mean, like Rob said in a comment um, a couple of streams ago, like gigantic RPG maker vibes. It was around, it had the same feel that a lot of the games of that era did. Um, but Secret of Mana was better than this, obviously. Secret of Evermore was better than this. This was okay. Definitely some QA issues. So it released in December of 1995. And I think what happened is Falcom rushed this for the Christmas rush. Uh, I, I gotta believe that... Uh, although, I know the Japanese celebrate Christmas, but I don't know if they give presents at Christmas. But it feels like this was a rush to market game for whatever reason. Um, you know, the magics like that, like Freakbot was pointing out, the item menu, the equipment item menu is awkward. It's a very awkward menu. The gameplay is okay. Nothing really special about it. The magic system is awkward. Um, hell, half the time I didn't even use the magic because it was unpredictable. You know, as I as I listen to myself, this sounds mostly like like a bunch of complaints, right? <laughs> but it really wasn't that bad of a game. I'm glad we played this. I actually am glad I played it. I don't remember which of uh, which of you fine chatters actually suggested this game. It may have been um, it. Uh, oh my goodness, and I'm forgetting the username now. Um, Not neuter mass. Um, my user with the earthbound Ness icon. Oh my goodness. I'm totally blanking. But anyway, um, but I'm glad that the suggestion was made to, to play this. I really do appreciate that. Uh, <laughs> you guys were absolutely right. And now we can actually play all of the East games. And now I actually have, this was the last one for me to play off stream. No, 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 that actually that honor. No, actually this was the last of the East games for me to actually play. Cause I have technically played a little bit of East seven. I just haven't beaten that one. East seven is now the last one for me to beat. I've now beaten all of the various East games, right? Cause I've beaten the turbo graphics East book one and two. I mean, if we're talking about remakes, I haven't beaten East 1 and 2 Chronicles, the remake, but it's, it's, it's note for note, the same game. Woo, Seraph, you almost knocked over your Coke. Um, I have beaten the TurboGrafx East 3 Wanderers from East. I beat Oath and Felgana now. That one was a really tough one. Well, you guys were there while I, while I was losing my mind and <laughs> trying to beat Galvalin at the end, complete with all of the drama of the controller dying. Well, I had one controller go on me and I bought a defective controller where the button skipped. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we've had, we've had a fair shake of it. Uh, I'd never played East 4 Memories of Silsetta. We've now done that. We beat that last time, or uh, that was the last of these games to beat. And so, yeah, we're doing pretty well here. Uh, we're moving right along. Oh, and uh, okay, the game softbox here. So now I just exit. So yeah, if I want to do all that over again, you have to load and you have to essentially do all of that last from the bell of judgment all through all that in one fell go. And if you die, you just have to do the whole thing over again. That's um, that's that's not great. <laughs> uh, but that was very common for games of that era. So anyway, um, I think this is about right because we finished this up. Why don't we roll up to the ending stream here? scene and let's see who might be still on who we can raid out to let's have some fun here 
Who happens to be on? Let's do this. Uh, it looks like Kai Parasite's playing a Donkey Kong uh, randomizer. So let's go back into randomizer fun and let's go raid Kai and see what's up. In the meantime, I plan to continue to stream again on Thursday night. I think that's a good plan. I'm not sure what I'll stream. I might even just get right back into E6 because that is a fantastic game. I really enjoy it and I, I'm, I'm kind of feeling that. I, I'm definitely on to an East kick a little bit here. So let's, uh, but in the meantime, we'll raid Kai until Thursday. Until next time, I hope everybody has a great week. Yep, that's what that's what it looks like. It looks like uh, looks like Diddy Kong Country 2 randomizer. So let's get this raid started. Until next time, I hope everyone has a good one. And in a few seconds, we're gonna teleport over there and let's give uh, let's give Kai a nice little say hello. We'll raid him and we'll have some fun. We'll keep this we'll keep this thing going. But in the meantime, until next time, I will see you all approximately later. Have a good one, everybody.